Hello and welcome to this video about the advanced installation of the database on a single server. We're not going to be talking about the, in the, the scan services or the web interface, but instead we're only going to be talking about the database installation on a dedicated server. So that's why this is the advanced installation process. Let's jump right into LandSweeper and see how we can get this installed. So over here on my web page, I have gone through the process of downloading. Uh, I've created the account, uh, created my site, as you can see here, and, and downloaded my installer. So let me shrink this down and let's go right into my installation process. As I'm getting into this, I'm going to shrink this down to keep our clean page. I'm going to hit accept our terms of use and select the advanced install. At this point, we can select the the, the local DB, which has its limitations, and that's why we're talking about the advanced installation. So when we talk about the SQL server here, we're going to be installing this specifically in cases where we have a database that's going to have over 10,000 assets, and it's going to have uh, potentially connections to other scan services. I don't want to have these other two parts of LandSweeper installed. I'm only looking for that database installation. Click on Next. And in this situation, I'm going to be installing it here on my local machine. So I'm going to keep this as local host. But maybe you happen to have a separate server, a, a dedicated SQL server, where you want the database um, from LandSweeper installed onto that. You can actually point this over at another database server and install it and point it over there and have it configured. Um, I want my authentication to be my Windows authentication. If you have SQL server authentication, you can configure that. I'm going to click Next. As you can see, it goes through its checking process to make sure the access and everything is there. I've got required space of 400 megs of, of free disk space on my small server here, so that's not a problem. And finally, the, the location. If you want to change your installation location, you can make those changes. Click on Install, and it goes through the installation process. Now, prior to this, what I have done is I've set up my database, my SQL database installation already. So this is installing on an already installed SQL database. An idea, if you happen to need an installator, an installer um, to go on to a, uh, on, a, on a free version of SQL, um, you might try the free, uh, the free version of SQL called SQL Express, and maybe that'll help you as well. Here you can see the installation is completed. I hit finish. It takes me out some of the website saying that my database is all set and ready to go, and it is all ready to go. The next thing I need to do is now install my, C, uh, my scan services and my web interface in order to get things configured and syncing to the cloud. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on the next videos where we're going to do the next two modules of the scanner and the web interface. I'll see you on the next videos.